Here we have the Galaxy S7 Edge. Got a case on it and everything. Stuck a nice little skin to the case itself. Now, we'll unlock this baby nice and quick. Now, most people are complaining about the fact that you can't use your SD card as adaptable storage or basically transfer all your app data. Say you install a bunch of games, you know. Some games are like 4 gigabytes or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, like San Andreas and everything. So, if you want to transfer some of this data to your SD card, then you can save yourself a lot of space and you can start to install a whole bunch of apps as you can see here. Trust me, I'm way over the 32 gigabyte limit. If you were to pause this video, add up all these numbers, I'm sure they're up there. Now, if I go back, back again, you can see specifically how much space is available. 22.82 gigabytes. Now, if you use this app called Folder Mount, now I'm going to emphasize that when you use Folder Mount and you first start it on your Galaxy S6, it's going to say that it needs to needs to make the compatibility of your SD card and the internal storage and adaptable storage, whatever, all that stuff. It's going to give you a warning that you may end up with a corrupt SD card. Basically, all your data is going to be deleted and you're going to have to reformat it. So once you go through all that, I ended up doing it. I went to folder mount and gave me all the information, asked me if I wanted to basically format my SD card or to set it up the way I needed to. I did, then my SD card became corrupted. I went back into my settings and I just formatted my SD card right here. Now if you want to undo everything that you do with folder mount and say you don't like it, you can just go in here, format and it'll put your card back to the way it was and everything but remember to back up all your information I would say on your computer before you even open folder mount and attempt to do anything within it now that I've emphasized that go into folder mount I'm not gonna get the pop-up because I've already gone through the steps and set it up these are a list of the apps I've transferred over now as I was showing you in the list some of these are pretty big apps now I'm gonna take the time hopefully it doesn't take too long to show you what it's like to actually transfer an application and we're gonna go back here 22.82 gigabytes used so remember that 22.82 22.82 so we're gonna transfer a nice big app would you like to create the destination folder automatically yes this way I don't have to do it on my own ah it didn't work it did it's a little issue now, when you're transferring apps, if the destination folder doesn't doesn't pop up once in a while, what I seem to do is I go back to the main menu of folder now, and I go to the settings, and I do a backup of all my settings of what I have in my list back here, basically. So what I do is, with that issue of it not creating a destination folder automatically, I go into App Info, and I go to Data Usage, nope, wrong one, sorry, um, Storage. And then I go to Clear All Data, Clear Data, which now folder mount's not going to recognize those apps I transferred, but because I created the backup, And I specify the root address of my SD card like it asks. Found backup file. Would you like to restore? Yes. Folder mount has backed up. Must restart. Restart folder mount. And bang. My list is there. Now when I transfer, attempt to transfer this file again. It should create a destination file automatically. Oh, see, right there, this line right here. That's my destination folder. It created it properly this time. Name, everything like that, where it's being transferred from. The source directory is not empty. Would you like me to move the files? Da, 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 da. It's basically saying if this app is already transferred to the SD card from before, before I restored the phone or something like that, that it's going to overwrite those files. I'm going to transfer, and it's going to do its thing. Hope you enjoyed.